May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and our community recently honored HPD Executive Assistant Chief Tian. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much for coming in studio and chatting with us this morning. Starting your day a little earlier than normal? It is, it is. Well, <laughs> Zach, thank, thank you for the invitation. Oh, that, anytime, anytime. You know, you are the first Asian American to reach this rank at HPD. This is such an honor. How does it feel? So, uh, you know, when uh, Chief Fender, uh, you know, uh, provided me that the opportunity, it, it, you know, it's, it's a, it is a tremendous honor, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that uh, at the time, I didn't really think about it until Chief Fender actually mentioned to me, hey, did you realize you will be the first uh, Asian American that, you know, you get to achieve that rank, right? But, you know, super excited, but more excited for the fact that uh, it's, it's really not about me. Yeah. It's the fact that, you know, I opened a lot of doors for, you know, for folks behind me, right? It's the fact that uh, to live in such a great city, the most mm -hmm. diverse city, at least that's all I was told, mm -hmm. to have the opportunity and uh, to let, you know, everyone know, at least the whole city know, if you're willing to work hard, roll yeah. up your sleeves, and you will get the same opportunity, right? So, I, yeah. I love that. You know, you're saying it's not about you, it's about the community you serve, Absolutely. and this is a service you do every day. That is, that is a true statement. You know, the reality is, you know, I get many, many uh, titles that's associated with this job. But truly the most rewarding is a uh, Houston police officer and a public servant. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we are so grateful for the work that you do. <laughs> and I know your community is rooting you on every step of the way. When did you get this promotion? So I actually got promoted. Uh, one April is the official date, you know, uh, and the fact that it was during uh, the final four. <laughs> and uh, she, she, yeah, yeah, right. Very busy, right? right? Yep, super busy. Thanks, and, thanks, uh, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, yes. So uh, you know, it's been it's been uh, slightly over a month, and uh, you know, uh, every day is 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 living a dream, right? Yeah. A dream that almost like uh, I I call it a uh, uh, I joke about it all the time a childhood dream. You know, I say for a kid that uh, dreamt that one day he'll make 10 bucks an hour, right? right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad right now. Right. So, yep, yep. Did you always know you wanted to be a, a police officer? So uh, as a young kid, as yeah. a young kid, you know, this is definitely a unique story why I want to be a police officer, especially a Houston police officer, right? I guess I, like many, you know, have same and or similar stories, mm -hmm. you know, at least mm -hmm. to all our Asian Americans out there, right? Um, the, the truth is, um, I truly believe that you really want to look for a profession that you go out and want to help people and work with people and then truly want to be a part of their community. I think this is the way to go. I mean, yeah. the, the truth is, you know, there are many, many great jobs, a profession out there. And uh, I believe, you know, this is the greatest, yes. in my opinion. Yes. I mean, it's almost like uh, every day you go to work, it's like, you know, uh, without a job. Yeah. Meaning the fact that you go out there to, uh, as cliche as it may sound, go out there and make a difference. So, yeah. Yeah. so, so to answer your question, the original question, yes. As a kid, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I want to be a police officer. And you know, there's, there's a good reason why, you know. And it's all started back in the days, you know, uh, Hurricane Alicia Day, you know, as oh, a young yeah. kid. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 1983. So. That's right, that's right. You, you know. I you, recently you, worked <laughs> on a cold case um, that took place the day after mm -hmm. uh, Hurricane Alicia, and so that's why I know okay. it was August of 1983. So, Zach, your memory is a lot better than mine because, uh, you know, as I, uh, my hair's getting grayer. <laughs> <laughs> I was not around then, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, you said this promotion came down uh, April 1 of this year. Mm -hmm. Has your role changed at all with this promotion? What will you be doing uh, geared toward this, this step up? So I wouldn't call it a step up per se. I would probably call it a position of uh, increased responsibility. Okay. That's all it is, right? Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I recently, prior to my promotion, I served as the assistant chief of a Homeland Security Command, extremely busy command. Probably you asked me, is probably the, one of the most busiest or the busiest commands. Wow. But this position here is kind of like uh, oversee a lot of investigation side mm. and also the Homeland Security side too. Meaning the fact that, uh, it's really like, it's, it's just like an old saying, you know, as I serve in the military, right? We all serve from a different foxhole. That's yeah. all it is. You just yeah. transition to a different foxhole and just, you know, uh, having some additional responsibility to associate with that. Well, keeping the same mission in mind. It's a team. It's, pretty, a, it's pretty, an effort. Pretty much, pretty yeah. much. Just like anything else. When, yeah. you, when you serve at this level, it's, it's not really about how to get the job done, you know, down the level, right? To go is to provide some sort of direction and motivation along with purpose to influence, you know, folks to do the job, so. Representation matters. 
I truly believe it does. It, it really does. Uh, you know, I think our city, city of Houston, is doing an exceptional job in terms of diversity. And that, that is important. I know it's important that we'd like to uh, promote diversity and have, uh, you know, folks that, you know, at least a equal representation of folks, you know, that look like us, you know, I think mm -hmm. like us, you know, in a community that serve in this position. But the key is, it's not just the look and the presentation, right? It's, it's, it's the, uh, the intention behind that. For instance, yeah. in order for me to understand a culture, I sort of kind of be in that culture, right? You know, as a kid, I, I used to uh, joke around all the time. And uh, when I, to a certain extent, you know, I, I, I get laughed at when I was a little kid. For instance, like, most Asian community, right? What do they do? They came from a culture, they burn incense, right? Mm. So a lot of guys don't understand the culture. Oh my gosh, you know, why are they burning <laughs> stuff out there, right? What kind of, you right, know, right, shady right. worship they have out yeah. there, right? But guys like me that understand, you know what? This is part of the tradition. Yeah. That's what Asian culture do, they burn incense, right? So, but the understanding, but the more you understand, the more not just sympathetic, the more empathetic you can be towards a, yeah. a certain population. Yeah, so. there, there's an old expression, you don't know what you don't know. That's correct. But it, it, it's up to you mm -hmm. to find out what it is you don't know. That is, that is a true statement, I yeah. think, Zach. You must be a philosophy major. <laughs> <laughs> hardly, hardly. I do have one question before uh, I let you go. I hear your wife is a commander, so we're wondering who's calling the shots around the house. So, uh, you know what, uh, we'll, we'll sidebar that. <laughs> we'll sidebar that, right? No so, comment for the record, right? <laughs> no, but the, the reality is, is, is my wife is, uh, is oh. great. It's, it's great to have someone that uh, understands what you do every day and yeah. share their profession. Uh, Sometimes, you know, it's difficult to understand, right? Because this is the nature of our job. Yeah. You know, it's always something different. It's always, everything is an emergency. And, you know, you get called away a lot. And, uh, you know, by having someone that understands what you do on a daily basis, that's, 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 that's important. Um, that but support. I, yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, that support this as yeah. well. So, uh, but I will say this, uh, out of all the profession I, I mentioned earlier, this is the most rewarding professions, uh, you know, meaning the fact that uh, it's just kind of in perspective. I just thought about that, just pretty recently thought about that. I still remember vividly, it was like a uh, history guy, 2017, you know, the biggest, the, basically the flood of the millennium, right, Harvey hit us. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, everybody else, you know, get to stay home prepared to take care of the family. And we knew the flood was going to get really, really bad. But at the time, the entire department got mobilized. And I served alongside some of these officers. The family actually called them at home and tell them, hey, the water is rising. And then uh, I need you to do something with the kids. Mm. And all the officers can say is, hey, you know what, honey, it's absolutely nothing I could do for you right now. Go to the second floor if it gets bad call the police to help you out or call the fire department to help you out, right? The wife did not understand, but me, I had yeah. experienced the same and yeah. all similar problems or issues, right? Yeah. But at least my wife understand, you know, we out to serve, you know, at least yeah. for a greater cause. You're running toward that catastrophe when most people are running that, that, away. That, that is true. To that help is those true. in need. Yep, yep. And, and you know, it's just, it's, it's extremely honorable for the fact that every day on a regular basis, get to serve alongside, you know, some of the most honorable people, meaning the fact that, uh, so just recently, because as you know, this is not just the national Asian American uh, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, yeah. this is also the Police Week too, National Police Week. Yes. Yeah, uh, basically a few weeks ago, uh, I have the honor to represent our department to go to Austin to, uh, I guess, to uh, memorialize and also to, uh, to recognize some of those uh, fallen heroes and the surviving families. And I guess they see one of those, that's the, the bus of the surviving families that's coming through and they were just right in front of us. And uh, as people were getting off the bus and I saw little kids, you know, rolling around, part of surviving families. And then I see elderly who has some mobility issue and, you know, roll around in wheelchairs. And I just wonder, how many lives were impacted right? yeah. just behind that badge? How many lives were impacted? How many dreams actually did not get fulfilled, right? Yeah. And uh, because of that, I will say that uh, I look forward to go to work with some of those people. Yeah. I call it, those a true selfless service, if you ask me. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Mm. A huge congratulations to you. Let me be one of many to say that to you. <laughs> and also, HPD is extremely lucky to have you. Thank you, Zach, sir. Thank you, but uh, if you don't mind, I would like to uh, put it out there uh, to at least to all my uh, AAPI uh, you know, uh, community. Hey, listen, uh, I know uh, growing up as an Asian kid, I know my parents tell me that all the time. Be an engineer, be a doctor, et cetera, et cetera, right? But hey, being a police officer is just as important. 
and we are hiring, so we need your help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you again, Thank you, sir. Jack. Thank you very, very much. Again, congratulations. We appreciate what you do every day for our community. Thank you so much. Thank As you. As I mentioned earlier, nice, uh, nice blazer. <laughs> Thank you. I do appreciate that.